In this video, I'm going to show you how to batch process audio files with Audacity. So let's get started. So you have your New Testament done or your book done that you want, and say that you're listening to it and you're just thinking it's just too harsh. I compressed it too much or too much limiter to it. And then you say, you know, I'd like to redo all those, but man, that's going to be a lot of work for me to take this, delete it, you know, and open up the Audacity file to delete it, then to process it and, you know, go back and forth. And that, you know, could be 200 and some files. And that's just going to be a real pain. So I'm looking at it here and I have all these files here and I want to process them but I don't want to open up Audacity for each one of those that I process. So you can do batch processing in Audacity. So you're going to have to make the change to the macro that you want. So I'm going to go to my macro here, and I'm going to go into Master Narration. And let's say I don't want the limiter anymore. I want to take the compression. I'm going to take the compression here, and I want to bring it down to 3 to 1. I have, then I hit Apply, and let's say I want to take the limiter and I want to bring it down to 1 dB, or I just want to totally remove the limiter. I don't like how that sound. And then I'm just going to normalize it here. So then I'm going to take it, and I'm going to save it. Close it here. And then I highly suggest that you take it, and you process it. Okay, and here it is. And now you're going to listen back to it and see if you like how it sounds, uh, don't like how it sounds, uh, and make the adjustments and get it how you want it. So now, say that we have this how we would like it. Now we need to make a macro to process this. If I just go in here and I ran the macro to master the narration, it'll, when you do the batch processing, it'll open up, it'll master it, to the narration to these settings here and close and it'll be lost forever. You have to save it somehow. So I have this one up here that batch convert. So I'm going to master the narration. Then I'm going to export the flag. So you need to export whatever you batch convert or it'll be lost forever. So I have this batch convert. And so if I go to here and I say files, it says I have to close this project. So I need to close this project here and reopen up Audacity to be able to do this. Now I have Audacity open. It's just a, a fresh new project. So I come into here, apply, then I go to the palette. I mean, I could go into the macro that I wanted right here and, you know, apply it this way. Or you can come in through the palette here and then you choose. And I want the batch. And I can expand it so I can see, yes, it's going to master, then export the FLAC. And then you choose the files. I highly suggest that you may do it on one or two first, because once you start this, it's really, you can't, it's really, really, really hard to stop. So if I decide to process all these right here, and I decide to stop it, you have to hit here and cancel, 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 and it's just really hard to stop it. So I would... Make sure that you have it. And if you're going to do like a whole New Testament or something like that, I'd probably do it by books. Do it by sections instead of the whole New Testament. You can do it, but if you once you commit to it, it's going to go. And it's really hard to stop. So I'm going to do these two right here. And I'm going to go ahead and I say open. And it's going to process it. So here it's listing them. It just brought it up. It's doing the processing on it. And it just saved. Okay, noise reduction. Okay, let's do the next one already. Okay, it exported FLAC and it's done. So I go to my macro outputs, and I come in here, and I have my FLAC, and I open it up, and then I'll listen back to see if I like it. If I didn't like it, you know, you need to readjust things, and then I come back, and something looked really funky about this chapter two. I don't know what happened here when I saw it processing. Okay, it's, it's okay, but, you know, maybe I don't like this, but... I'm not going to worry about the settings. I'm worrying about the process here. You come back to Audacity here. And so then you go to your 
palette here, uh, you want the batch convert. I like to expand to make sure it's doing what I want. And then you can come in here and you have to go to where your files are, my original ways. And then you can choose them all and control A. And then you do this and it'll process all of them. Or another process that you might want to do is you want to take all the waves that you have, the originals, and make them flax. Or you might want to make them into MP3s. And so you come into here and you can say, Export flack. That's all I'm going to do. And so I'm going to take this guy, and I'll go to files, and I need to go to my originals, and I will choose three of them here. And so I'm going to process them, and boink, they're going to go, makes it into flack, makes it into flack, and then does the next one to flack. So it did all that processing. And I come back here, and I see that I'll, I have all my flax now in the macro output. So you can change them to flax or whatever, or if you have waves, you can convert those to MP3s. So this is just a really nice way to be able to process a bunch of files. It could be hundreds of files, and it's just really helpful to do it this way. If you found any value in this video, please like, subscribe, and share so YouTube will recommend it to others.